everybody um welcome to my asmr video on some of the things in my gorillas collection now i haven't been a gorillas fan for very long i got into it around the time of the now now well, like basically right when the now now came out um but i have a pretty decent sized collection i'd say i have all of their like albums on cd but i'm not going to show those because they're kind of boring I also have a bunch of shirts, also not going to show those because they're kind of boring. I say that as I have um, the Demon Days album here that everybody has. This is not the original, this is the repressing. Uh, also, bear with me, I'm not an expert on vinyl. Uh, to give you an idea of what I mean, I own one of those stupid Crossley uh, turntable things. I don't play my records on it anymore because I heard that they damaged them and also played my records kind of crappily, especially this one that I heard this repressing has problems anyways. But um, yeah, so I'm not going to play them on there, so don't hate me for having that, okay? I'm working on getting a good turntable so I can actually listen to these, but they are nice to display. So you know, I'm not going to touch too long on this one just because everyone and their mother has this album, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly show what's in the inside. I'll move these out of the way for just a second. So we start out with just the artwork of each of the songs. Fast living souls, kids with guns, oh green worms. Every plant we reach is dead. I love these little simplified versions of them, especially little noodle there. Very cute. All alone, white light, dare. Harry, Nobody, Al Manana, November has come, a fire coming out of a monkey's head. This is the Valentine's Day game, I see it. Uh, don't get lost in heaven, it's kind of a weird photo, I don't know. Then, Demon Days. Uh, that was just my dog that walked by. Ignore him. <laughs> And then here it just shows what songs are on what side and some of the credits. Also, they spell Nichols weird. Okay. Um, yeah. Back. Again with the sides and some more art. I forgot that Russell used to be in a taxidermy. Okay. And I like the sleeves that the records themselves are in. It just has the characters' profiles, which I really like. TV. We have Murdoch looking, looking like a crow. <laughs> and on this one, we have Russell and Demon Alright, so here we go. Good album. If for some reason you're watching this video and you haven't heard this album, um, go do it. Actually, if you're watching this video and you haven't heard any of these songs, um, go do it. Alright. <laughs> I don't want to just keep showing like my records all in a row, so I'm going to kind of mix things up a bit. So, we're going to take a little journey to phase 5. I have the super plastic 2D figure. It's very tall. It's about like a foot tall. You can... Here's my arm. I'm sorry, I'm not a good camera person. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> but I love this. It's a vinyl figure. Um, it's the only figure I have since the ones from the earlier days are like $800 for the whole set and I, whoops, I don't have that kind of money. Um, yeah, his head came off. Well, his hair came off. His head didn't come off. That's my dog. I hate you. Because back here is the switch to make him glow. He glows very bright. It's based off of the trans music video. Um, I like that video. That was the first video that I saw, like, when it had just come out. Because, like I said, I'm a new fan. And I was very excited. I remember I was sitting in my car on my break at work waiting for that to come out. And watching it like four times in a row. Alright, on to another vinyl. This one, <clears throat> sorry. I'm going to go over briefly because I have two of them. So, it's the Now Now. I, this is just a standard tradition black record. I'm not going to show it just because it's not that interesting. I have two of them because I got the deluxe version for Christmas. Sorry, I thought my dog was going to bang on my door. And uh, this is probably my second favorite album. 
like gorillas. I'm probably biased since the now now is kind of what got me into them. Mm, is that the shot? So it's not distracting. Um, yeah. I have the little pro profiles on the back. Ace. Um, that banging in the background. You heard that? Were cats? They're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, definitely my favorite song on this album is Sukai. It's beautiful. And I also really like, uh, there's not a single song on here that I hate. Yeah. It's a good album. Alright, I'll touch more on that when I get to the other one. Alright. Let me shift gears. Uh, a newer item, along with the figure, are these stickers that came with the G-Shock collection. Or the G-Shock watches. I didn't get the original watches because they didn't sell them in America. The ones that were character specific. I, I tried to order one off the UK website and I had one in my cart and then it said it didn't ship to America and I got very sad. But <laughs> anyways, that's really hard to see. It just says Girl with XG Shock. And the stickers. My favorite is definitely the self-titled sticker. I haven't put them on anything yet because um, I don't want to ruin them. <laughs> and I'll show the actual watch itself. Hold on comes in this adorable box and with a bunch of phase one art. Uh, strangely enough, Murdoch is only on here a couple of times, which is kind of weird. Russell and Tootie are the ones on it the most, which um, I'm glad to see Russell getting some love, especially these days, since him and Noodle both are kind of in the background now. Him considerably more than Noodle. I hope that does change in the future. As much as I love 2D and Murdoch, they both do get a little bit too much attention. And here's the watch itself. This is an extra strap you could put on. It's like a dark green with outline of camo. The camera's not picking it up. I don't like it nearly as much as the dark green camo. You know, the traditional camo. Uh, this watch is very durable. Tap it on it. <laughs> it says gorillas and it just shows the date and time and stuff like that. Uh, I do really like it. My wrist is very small though, so I had to put it on almost the tightest one to get it to fit. And it's very chunky and not very, I guess, um, feminine looking, but I, I still think it looks good. And it's just, it's very, it's very well made. Alright, I'm gonna do another vinyl. I don't have a, a lot of vinyls, so almost done with them. I have The Fall. This is the Record Store Day one, so it's that kind of foresty green color. Uh, yeah, I don't have the original because that's rare. Very, very, very rare and expensive. But I'll take this one. This one's nice. I know there's a reprint and now it's just a traditional black one. But I'm really glad I got to pick this one up. Uh, shows these. I know uh, people say The Fall is very underrated. Uh, I think it's kind of like people are getting into it now. I appreciate it just because um, they made it on an iPad and you know that takes things talent. Um, my favorite songs on here are definitely Revolving Doors and Aspen Forest. And of course you know Seattle Yolo. That's, that's like the best thing ever made. I also enjoy Parish of Space Dust, On the Wheels, Naked Mountains. Bobby and Phoenix, I really like these bottom songs are where it's at, because everybody knows it's all pretty good. A solid album. Yeah, okay. I don't want to stick on these too long, because I know they're not extremely interesting. Um, but I am going to go do another vinyl, because one of my other collectibles is something, I think like the most rare thing I have, so I don't want to just kind of throw it in here right away and then take time. Out. But anyway, I have the plastic beach. Um, picture disc. I just got this for Christmas. Plastic Beach is without a doubt my favorite album. I think of all time. Definitely of all time. Uh, my favorite song is On Melancholy Hill. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm not planning on playing this album. I just kind of want to display it and then get a different one to play. As you can see, each disc has art on it. I love this picture. Although the real noodle is missing. I don't see her anywhere. Uh, I don't know who that is. But that's Cyborg. Um, 
Yeah, interesting too. I really like the almost simplistic look of it. It's like simplistic but detailed, if you know what I mean. 2D space is just a really good example of that here. And then over here, it's just them all kind of chilling. And in the back, I love this piece of art. I like the table. Um, Peculia Aquatica. Uh, is that a pill? <laughs> Book. Spoon. I like these. They say Murdoch's special rum. <laughs> I'm going to talk about another vinyl, but this one's really interesting because it's the special edition of the Now Now, so there's more stuff in it than just the record itself. So, it comes in this box. It's one of these, like, um, weird, whatever you call these. It's a very cool sound. I need to track it with my dog. I'm going to open this really quickly. Hold on, I have to set the camera down. Uh, there were some pieces of art, but, um, I framed them. There's one, two, and three, so yeah. <laughs> um, there's another piece of art, I just didn't have enough frames, so I still have one that I haven't framed. I have this on a shirt, but the background's bright pink, and I don't like the bright pink. I'd rather have this, but I do like this art. the more interesting stuff. Oh, hold on, I took the pins out. It came with these pins and I came. I love these. I love the colors. It's like, I don't know. I just really like the now nose aesthetic. Um, th there's this code. It's expired. So, I don't think can't do anything with it. Sorry about that. I got a little certificate saying this is an exact Judy's private journal, and I love the journal because it's, I don't know if I can get it out, it's just, it's got the lyrics to the songs in it, also just random little drawings and whatnot, but you see, humility, it says call me off in isolation, because right now I'm against the law, I don't need to be chained, and I just, I like that, I like the, um, very end is just a random little bubbles, and I think that's very cute. Just a lot of random. I can't really keep this one. Little things in it. So I know there's prints of this online, so if you wanted to see this, you can find it pretty easily. But yeah, I think it's very, very cool. <laughs> The Now Now record itself is a really pretty bright blue color. I don't want to hold it like that because I know I'll make the people mad. <laughs> but I definitely want to put that one on display somewhere. I know some people don't like the look of displaying records, but I think it looks cool. I don't know. I'm like very new and amateur, as you can tell with like everything that I'm doing. So. <laughs> Alright, and the last thing I'm going to show, but I think it's the biggest thing here, is Rise of the Ogre. It's a very rare book that I spent too much money on. Tip, if you are going to buy this book, do not buy it during the holiday season. It can double in price. I've seen it go lowest, like $60 to $80, so just, but during the holiday season it can get it can get up to $400 and don't waste your money. Be patient and it will be yours. Um, I, I haven't read all of it. I have it marked where I was, but it's very, very cool. It goes over kind of the story and everything of phases one and two. And it has this, sorry, that's my dog. Stop, buddy. 
you have the characters themselves talking about what's happening in it. And you get, oh, it's very glossy. And you get some very cool glimpses at art. This is a very, very weird one. Um, I have several questions. <laughs> And they talk about the making of, so you can see this for the bear. Okay. No, I think it's just such a cool thing. There's, um, I know, I think people have uploaded PDFs of it online. So I definitely recommend trying to look through it if you get the chance. There's just random stuff, such as Murdoch. Charlie Brown type noises. <laughs> so yeah, um, that was my collection. Pretty random impromptu video. Uh, I'm very bad at making these videos, but I hope one day I will improve. Um, if you'd like to see more of my collection, such as the boring stuff that I talked about, <laughs> that I had, like the CDs and shirts. I would definitely be up to making that. And, um, if you watch this, uh, thank you so much for watching it. And remember, you are all beautiful people, and you're all loved and cared for. Alright. Um, I hope this relaxed even one person. If that didn't, I consider it to be a success. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Bye.